Stone. Most don't contain curses at all, but those that do, um, it's usually just a curse against anyone who might uh, defile the, the grave after uh, it's been set up, not someone who wronged the deceased. Um, so it's actually pretty reminiscent of traditional Roman curse tablets, uh, which were written by living Romans against their enemies, usually on thin sheets of lead. They would be placed in uh, wells or fountains, um, or sometimes even um, on graves or in um, just in places that the spirits of the dead might <coughs> carry them to the gods of the underworld who were supposed to enact these curses. Um, so while this is like that in a lot of ways, it's, it's different um, because most uh, cursed tablets were, had a very specific target, um, but this one murder is unknown, so obviously there couldn't be one mentioned. Um, but while the inscription is incomplete, we believe that the curse is finished because um, the you, in the now you in, in the last line, is plural, so we believe he might be talking to his family now. Um, so we're pretty sure that we have the entire text of the curse. Okay, so now we're just going to talk about a little bit of our experience. Um, this was so, me and Anna had such a wonderful time um, translating funerary inscriptions. Um, I, last year I translated half of the Aeneid and then also half of um, Caesar's um, Gallica Wars. So it was, and if anyone hasn't translated them, obviously, um, it's a little different than translating funerary inscriptions since the abbreviations are have come from full Latin, sometimes even poetry. Um, so that was quite difficult for me at first to um, have that transition. Um, <laughs> but it was also so interesting for us to see actual tangible um, history. We got to um, see, hit, feel and see history. Um, we now know these people's lives so well. Um, and it's just so much more personal than reading a textbook of Latin. It was such a fulfilling and wonderful experience to have, um, have this opportunity. Thank All you. right. Well, thank you. And of course, we are here for questions. <laughs> questions. Yeah. But he had so much anger. How is that? How is that passed on if he was dead? Well, probably his family found him <coughs> murdered in the street. So it's no. mostly like the the family speaking in his point of view. Okay. Like um, even though it is first person um, coming from the dead, um, that's actually pretty common for funerary tombstones to be first person, um, even if they weren't murdered. Okay. Um, usually having because I, I envisioned him on his deathbed going <laughs> and this I would like to pass on. <laughs> it could be, but probably not. Probably yeah. it was the family that wrote this. Very upset that their son had been murdered on the streets. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Can you tell me a little bit more, or say it again? Um, see if I understand. Do you think that the tablet continued on? This. Um, uh, yeah. Was it? This. This one. Mm -hmm. um, now you. Yeah, the it, you. there's a break um, in the stone mm -hmm. where we can see more text has been cut off. Mm -hmm. um, so there was probably a little bit uh, more remaining. Um, we think that the curse is complete, but we think that there was probably a little bit about his family, maybe his job, that you would traditionally find on a tombstone. Um, but it's probably not that much, given you know the, the size of the stone already. Um, but yeah, we, we think it goes on for a little bit. Yeah, and along those lines, if I may interrupt. So um, it is uh, fairly common, not the curse, but to have the de deceased talk to his family or her her family and sort of console the, the people left behind. So we actually have this one above Anna on the wall that's from a wife addressed to her husband, where she says, you know, I, I'm dead now, but you should enjoy your life, get a new wife, and I will see you in the afterlife. Um, so, so that's fairly common. <laughs> And um, the Wilson, when he published this originally, he supplied the word consolor, so I console you. So here we have um, vos nunc, and then he thinks it's followed by consolor, so now I uh, console you. And the other thing about um, why we think the curse is over is because the curse is directed against a singular you, whereas vos is a plural. So he seems to be cursing one highway robber and then talk to somebody in the plural, presumably his family. Mm -hmm. so.
So you may oh, sorry. <laughs> we both picked football. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. Um, you may have said this already, but where was this found, this particular funerary uh, tablet, and how old is it? Okay, so if we you know we, this. No, we haven't talked about it. Okay. Um, well, one of the things, as I said earlier, you could ship inscriptions to America without many problems, but that also, um, it was also a time in which um, archaeology wasn't at the standards yet that we comply with today. So um, we think that most of these are from outside the Porta Solaria of Rome, so we think they were from Rome since Wilson purchased them there, and there was a, a necropolis, a sort of town of the, go of, of the dead outside, the, dead, the Romans <coughs> only buried the dead outside the city walls for hygienic and spiritual reasons, and um, so at the time when Wilson was in Rome, this necropolis was being excavated. Okay. So we think the, the idea is that they basically sold them off as they came out of the ground, which is why we don't have any um, excavation records for these. Um, like a souvenir? And the, uh, huh? I mean, was it like sort of considered like a souvenir of some sort? Or? Yeah, no, I mean, most, uh, mostly it went to art collectors and okay. museums. If so I could jump in, we have some letters from Wilson. He was actually at the American Academy in Rome at the time, and he'd been given funds by the university to purchase things for oh. students to learn from here. Okay. So we have letters saying, I've been walking around Rome and looking out for things to purchase, as were many other academics oh, who were studying or doing research in Rome and they were collecting things sometimes in large groups for their university collection. So we know he shipped five large crates of